Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Von Films, and today I'm going to teach you how you can do a muzzle flash. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm teaching you guys how to do a muzzle flash tutorial, because there are a million other tutorials on how to do this on YouTube too, right? Well, there are a million other tutorials on YouTube on how to do this, but they're either really, really simple with a terrible end product, or the end product looks really, really good, but the tutorial is very, very complex and requires lots of expensive editing softwares. Now this video is pretty much going to be that sweet spot right in between. It's going to give you an amazing end product with a tutorial that is very easy to follow and doesn't require lots of expensive editing softwares. Now by the end of the tutorial, here's what the product should look like. Now the editing software I'm going to be using for this tutorial is called Movie Studio Platinum 13, but you can pretty much do everything I do in this editing software on any other editing software out there. So to begin, uh, the things you're going to need is obviously your main video clip. You're also going to need a muzzle flash picture on black, which you can just Google and you'll find a bunch of them. You're going to need a smoke effect on black, which you can find easily on YouTube. And you're going to need a gunshot sound effect. First, just take away the black from the gunshot effect by adding a green screen chroma key over top of it and changing the color to black. I have a pre-saved one, but you can kind of see the settings I'm using right here. Next, you're going to find the exact moment that you want your gunshot to happen. Now, when you're shooting your footage, make sure you don't give too much of a recoil, because that doesn't look too realistic. I like to not use recoil at all and just sell it with the effect. Right there looks about good, so I'm going to take my effect over to the, on, on the timeline and shrink it down to only two frames. That looks good right there. Now I'm just going to position the muzzle flash to the barrel of the gun. Now you'll find that in most movies the muzzle flashes are fairly big. So you can either go for a realistic muzzle flash, which is really small. But from all the Hollywood movies, how they keep their muzzle flashes really big, most people think that a big muzzle flash is more realistic than a small muzzle flash, so that's why I like to keep mine a bit bigger. After that, you can drag your smoke right over top of that and add another green screen on black effect. I have another preset for it, but here are the settings if you want to copy them over. Now that you have that done, you want to position your smoke effect. Now, while positioning your smoke, you want to put make sure that on the smoke video, you want the thickest part of the smoke right over top of your muzzle flash so you know where to position the smoke, and then you can change it back later. Once you've positioned it, you can close out of that, and you can move it on the timeline right over. And you can move it on the timeline to back where it was beforehand. Next, you're going to grab your sound effect and you are going to try to position that as best you can right when the muzzle flash happens. So I'm just going to do that here now. Alright, that looks about good. After that, you want to duplicate the two frames where the muzzle shot happens. And you're just going to duplicate it by copying and pasting it right under the first one. On the top track, you're going to want to go to Brightness and Contrast. Go to brighter and drag that over top. And you're gonna try and make it really, really bright here. Just gonna make it really, really bright for these two frames. Then you're gonna wanna go to color curves. And you're gonna wanna drag yellow tint to it. And I think, and just perfect it. Uh, and you can play around with this till it looks right. I think that looks good right there. And you can exit out, and you're going to go to cookie cutter, picture in picture, and drag that right over the top one. Then obviously take your border all the way down. Then change the shape to oval right here, just change your shape to oval. Then just use the center tool and change the size of, and position of it to, to where you think the gunshot would give off a glow.
Once you've done that, you can bring your feather up, which is the tool right here. Just do that until you think it looks good. Then just eggs it out, and now you're done. And that is how you do the muzzle flex. Thank you all for watching. My name is Vine Films, and that has been it. Peace.